check this bloke out. New employee here at 54 Customs. The size of him. Welcome back to Backyard Builds. Sorry for the rain noise, but as you can see, it's raining pretty heavy here. So today's just a little tech tip on welding weld-ins for Heim joints into suspension components. So we've got some stainless tube, some little stainless weld-ins. So what we're gonna do is prep the end. Um, we're also gonna plug weld it or rose weld it so these Heim joints can go in. So what I've done, I have just marked how far they go in. So I'll mark out some holes and we'll drill some holes in it. So what we've done, just drilled some holes through and just sort of put a bevel in them so we can get in there nice and hot with a TIG torch and just plug weld them in here as well, as well as welding around here. Just gives it that added strength. We call it a rose joint, so as you can see, it, um, the hole sits down past in there, which is good. So we'll put them in, then we'll weld them up. All right, so what we've just done, put the inserts in, tacked them in, Here's my earth, and then we've just rose welded those back in. So it just gives it a bit more contact than just around just that end. So that's what the engineer is going to look for, or what he asks for. So what we'll do now is we'll sand them off so they're smooth, and then we'll weld that, but we'll leave that weld high. Um, we won't sand it off. All right, so sand it all off. Looks pretty good. Just sharpen our tungsten up. So put it back in the handpiece and weld her up. So all welded up, both are done. Customs actually asked for them to be sanded. Um, so we'll sand them up and send them on their way. But that's essentially how you should do a weld in Heim's end. So plug welds as well as your fillet. Keeps it nice and strong, keeps everything straight, nice and happy. So that's how we weld a tube adapter in. So this is the standard style. I just wanted to go through a few other components of four links. So there's a few options when it comes to four links as to what rod end you can actually use. So to give you a few examples, this is a kit that I actually do. Um, so polyurethane bush with a crush tube. They're 9 16 They go into the, the tube here. And then we can weld that onto at the end of our four link or what we can do is we can weld a threaded um, insert on. So that goes in there, nice weld all the way around. That screws into there with a what we call a lock nut on it. And then that can be used to make an adjustable four link. Obviously it doesn't need to be adjustable both ends, but we can make it adjustable both ends. So here on the four link that I've done last Christmas, we've used a poly bush on one end, and then we've used a Himes joint on the other but as you can see, they're both adjustable. So how I've actually done it is, one's left-hand thread, one's right-hand thread. So we'll be able to adjust that pinion angle that way. So these bushes are pretty handy. We use them in a lot of applications. So here in particular, these are my cab mounts that I've made up. I'll get that later. These are the cab mounts I've made up for this truck. I haven't actually used them yet. And I'm also using the same bush setting bush set in an engine mount so they're quite versatile um, i always like to keep a couple round so next up we just have like a himes joint so exactly the same as what we've just put in those links so as you can see these ones in here are pfte which is like a teflon nylon raced himes um, one thing to consider with these is you can get spaces for them so these are misalignment spaces so they go in there but they allow more articulation to the bolt, essentially. So you do step down a bolt size with those, but, and these are the jam nuts that I spoke about before. So they're just like a half nut. But on this application, we've obviously used them in the front. 
um, it gives us our up and down articulation and we've decided to run them horizontal so I did read a thing from Pandemic Publishing um, on the reasons behind that uh, I just wanted to give it a go see how much better it rides see if it gives me a little bit better articulation so talking about articulation I've run Himes on one end and Polybush on the other so with the Polybush it's not actually going to give us any like articulation through the bush without crushing the bush so that's why we've got Himes at one end and Poly at the other so it gives that articulation through this joint not through that joint there the last option we have is what we call a uni ball so it's essentially the same as the Himes without the threaded shaft off it what they do have is a sleeve butt so essentially you weld the sleeve on to your arm they're then like tolerance fit in there so you need to sometimes press them in they're very tight so they don't slip around and then there's a circlip retainer that goes in on top of that so while we're here um, I've actually used the uni balls and they are you can't really see them but they're on that lower link just there so that gives me articulation through that arm as well um, in combination with that poly bush at the front yet again so just a few more examples of where you can use them so what's link so three poly bushes and then Himes joint on that end just to allow for that articulation so there are three options that you can run um, for your full link so these bars haven't been modeled out yet but they'll cop very similar treatment so they've only just been taxed so I'll cut the tax drill them out and set them up properly but hopefully we'll be back onto the truck pretty soon if you want to see more of it let us know I suppose I better get a code word for this week seeing as people have been getting upset we haven't been putting code words uh, this week's code word I think we're gonna go for link so comment link uh, for your chance to win one of two sticker packs that we'll draw by Friday next week. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to Backyard Builds.